All right, going down the Wing Chun rabbit hole. This is a video that was uh, put up by our good friend uh, Sean McGuire from Naptown Wing Chun. Just a fucking awesome guy. If you don't know who Sean is, uh, go check out Naptown Wing Chun and Indianapolis Wing Chun with uh, Clint Cloys, Casey Couch, Sean. I mean, oh, God, those guys are so damn awesome. Steven. Oh, damn, Steven. Somebody ever want to test? And I'll, I'll pay this motherfucker this compliment. Anybody ever want to know, oh, Wing Chun is bullshit? Go to Indianapolis and ask to touch hands with Steven. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> God, it's, let's see. I touched hands a little more. It's got to be almost, almost 10 years ago, uh, maybe 2015. And so I can't imagine how much more brutal that guy has gotten. Anyways, all right, here we go. Number one, if you're new to the channel, uh, hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, hit the thumbs up. Comment below what your thoughts are. You like these t-shirts? Go down in the description uh, portion. Click the link and go get a t-shirt that represents Wing Chun. Best for your tastes. Send us a uh, picture of you wearing it over to IzzoWingChun at gmail.com. And I'll put it up in the uh, community section here in the YouTube channel. Now... Sean posts this, and he's right about a lot of things. I think where I'm going with this is I'm going to make the statement first, and even if I'm incorrect on it, my statement is correct. Stay away. Anytime you see something that says traditional wing chun, stay away from it. Because for the most part, anybody using that professionally falls under the copyright uh, infringement of the William Chung lineage. And that is a garbage lineage of Wing Chun. It is good for one thing, demonstrations. That's it. But if you are somebody who is seriously looking to do Wing Chun and you study under William Chung's lineage, you are not learning Wing Chun. You are learning how to get your ass beat and poorly represent a martial art uh, that's going to turn everybody off. So I'm going to play this video. We're going to watch this. What did Sean uh, put up there? Let's watch this together here really quickly. It's a real quick looping video. Guy gets a punch feed. Pock. Yeah. Okay. A couple different things as we look at this. Here's why. Now, I'll defend for a second. This is a three, four second video. But the problem is, is that most people... Uh, see content like this and they're looking at it when they, oh, Wing Chun, and we know, we know the background that our martial art has gotten and the crap that it is. And it's because of stuff like this. I'm not, I'm not, I am not questioning this Sifu skills or the guy he's demonstrating with. What I'm questioning is the stuff that we put out, myself included, I'm guilty of this at times too, that is going to have people look and go, oh, this is what Wing Chun is. I could do it. going to get your ass cracked. Uh, ask B. Number one, guys, if you are learning to take a punch in Wing Chun, step back, deflect, you know, give it give it the forward upward motion, and then lop and strike. Does he do that here? Yep, lop strike. Oh, he no, he doesn't even lop strike. He lops and gum in with the arm. It's not Wing Chun. This is movie demonstration stuff. This is stuff that makes it look good like in a, uh, 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 oh, crap, a Donnie Yen film, right? So I went to look at this. Wing Chun, if anything, if a punch is coming in like this, guy feeds a punch, you should blast right in and punch in. You don't step off line. You don't wind up uh, pocking and deflecting up. This is three movements, one, two, and three. It's, it's, it's William Chung. I just have a feeling it is, right? So I have to look really quickly. I go to it. Uh, this is who the Sifu's paid combat Wing Chun Master uh, Laozo Naumov. I'm sorry if I mispronounced that. Academy of Wing Chun, um, traditional Wing Chun Kung Fu. That's going to tell me this is a William Chung lineage disciple. That is going to be, uh, uh, no, it's just utter shit. I wish to God Robert Downey Jr. did not find uh, the the eric Oram lineage from william chung right if it saved his uh, life through sobriety and all that stuff man that's awesome that is good martial art but it's not good for fighting it is horrible it's absolutely horrible in the sake of um what do you call it uh, 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 uh combat and learning how to do self-defense right let's look at some of his videos um and I'm just going to play these a few if you're new to wing chun i want you to keep something in mind wing chun is all about attacking it's all about attacking. Every one of these demos that I'm going to pull up is great for visual demonstration only. So I guess as we go forward in the world of Wing Chun, we have to start differentiating 
are we doing combative Wing Chun or are we doing movie Wing Chun? And I think people are going to have to start putting up online. Yeah, I put up for entertainment purposes, movie choreograph Wing Chun, but I teach combat Wing Chun. And I think that's the only way that we're going to wind up surviving when it comes down to um, saving our art, so to speak. Let's look at Wing Chun's top technique, uh, Jut Sao. Let's look at this together. Okay, again, do this without the volume. Okay, jut to the outside, and then you're going to use that uh, fox sow. It's 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 also in the third form where some people do the they go they're like this one two three one two three. Ours is when you get to that motion, it's one. You're using the elbow in it, and two and three. And that's where you're going to get that inch power from it. But again, he is. Um, let's see, what's his first reaction? Uh, he steps. This is how you know you have garbage Wing Chun that you're putting out there if you step back. Anytime somebody steps back in a fight to gain distance, if you will, you are opening yourself up for being taken down. Don't do it. Please, just don't do it. Right? Movie Wing Chun. Choreograph Wing Chun. Hey, guys, let's go make a backyard movie with my shaky handy cam from the early 90s that I just found. It's all charged up, and we got VH test tapes for, right? Let's go do that. That's all it's good for. It's good for nothing else out there. If you are studying traditional Wing Chun under the William Chung lineage, 100%, I do not care if it offends you. I don't care if you're like, well, come touch hands with me. I've touched hands with enough of you guys. No, it is utter garbage, horse shit. Fuck all Wing Chun, period. End of story. Let's keep going. Yeah, that's what that is. Okay, let's look at more stuff he does. Uh, Pox out of the inside. Step back, Pock. Yeah, again, this is demo. You're stepping back. This is why, too, right? I've talked about if you're familiar with my my stuff. He's uh, lead side leg and lead side uh, arm. That's a no-no for what we teach because you're blading and it's garbage. All right. Okay, let's look at this one. Pox out, LARP sound. Oh, Pac. Yeah, no. Again, we know this, and I'm 100% confident this teacher knows also that that punch is not going to be there. It's for training only. Now, there's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong with doing this kind of stuff. It's fun to learn, and I would venture to guess. I would venture that, one, it's a 100% possibility that when somebody learns, if this is all somebody learned, there is a 100% possibility in the in, in the infinite variables that there are in fights that something they learn from this could save themselves in a self-defense circumstance. I'm not doubting that, and I'm not going to discount that at all. 100% could. It's just not the shit you ever want to do. It's for visual, fun, uh, look at me, I'm going to do the next uh, Ipmon movie series out there. Jut Sao. Boom, we already saw that. It's Tan Sao. Step back in Tan, boom. Yeah, no. Okay. Again, if you are learning this, this is William Chung. Uh, you to defend with Bong, which all of us do. It's the it's the the uh, quintessential Wing Chun pose, the Bong Sao. But if you're if you're leading your stuff off with Bong Sao in a defensive position, you're, you you're, you do not know Wing Chun. And I again, I'm trying to defend my defend my position as much as possible. I do not know this Sifu. I'm not giving him any disrespect whatsoever. I'm talking about the content, the, the production values being put out there. It is 100%. I have no idea what the hell was that. What the hell was that? That's that's a weird-looking Quan Sao is what that is. That's a weird... That, okay. Yeah, that's their... Oh, God, that's their weird stuff. That's a weird-looking Quan Sao, where his arm is coming all the way through. Quan Sao should be uh, uh, in a position with a Tan Sao and a Bong Sao, but what are going to do? The, it, this is simply just uh, um, stuff that they're putting out there for display. That's it. Boom. Yeah, okay, great. Awesome. Okay. Anyways, that's it. So my mini rant here right now for this short video is I think that it it's it's not... <sighs> I know a lot of people, especially when they go to the forums... They like to suck each other off, and you know, and it's like you all form mini factions about who's got the real Wing Chun and who doesn't. And the only way you're ever going to feel it figured out is by putting in the time, effort, getting your ass kicked, saying this has worked, this didn't work, um, and, put, and putting it to test, right? And I'm not talking sparring, I'm talking fighting. And sadly, sadly, fighting isn't fun. 
Sparring for some of you guys is really fucking fun. I, okay, great, whatever. Fighting is horrible, but it's really where you see where you come out and where you put your shit into play in, uh, in your Wing Chun. So, and it's a terrible, terrible place to be because of what you do to other human beings, what can be done to you by other human beings. And sadly, um, the person you have to mentally become to become, to win a fight, it's, it's horrible. When you come back down and you crash, it's horrible. But in my personal and professional opinion, who's been doing Wing Chun, um, I, I did the math, and I've been incorrect all this time. I thought I started in 1998. Uh, I was wrong. It was 1996. So I've been doing it that damn long, right? It's coming up on uh, 30 years. Uh, I'll be doing Wing Chun. The William Chung lineage is garbage. The most worthless most worthless brand of Wing Chun that there is out there being taught today. Um, so if he wants to keep traditional Wing Chun, then he can because it sucks and it should be uh, uh, given the biggest wide berth possible. So if you're doing Wing Chun, don't do this. End of story. That's it. Guys, hit that like button. Hit that thanks button. Show us some love. Support the channel. Go get a t-shirt. The link is in the description down there. Send uh, anything you want to IzzoWingChun at gmail.com. Who do you want to see me talk about? Uh, so, uh, if you got one of our t-shirts, snap yourself a little photo in it. We'll put it up on our, on our, uh, YouTube channel here to show you, uh, how awesome you are for supporting us. Other than that, you guys have a great damn day. See you in the next video.